Okay, so much has happened since the last time I sat down and filmed. I actually just got back from LA. Guys, I was invited to a Rare Beauty event. It was my first Rare Beauty event and it was to celebrate their new Kind Words lip collection, which by the title of this video, I'm sure you can tell. I'm gonna be swatching both the lip liners and the lipsticks today, so I'm really excited about that. But I had so much fun. I truly was so thankful to be invited and they brought me out there. It was just surreal, honestly. And I actually got to meet Selena, which was crazy. So I'll put our little boomerang that we made right here. And honestly, it was like a pinch me moment. I am such a huge fan of Rare Beauty and obviously Selena as well. You guys know I use a lot of their products on my channel. And so it was so cool to be invited to the event and to see some of my friends and to meet the team and all of that. So I had a blast, but obviously, Another thing that I'm really excited about, as I'm sure you guys are, are these new lipsticks. So they actually sent me home with the PR box. So here is the lid. You can see Selena looks so pretty on this. And then I will show you what's inside. Dun, dun, dun. So here is the new collection. So there's two parts to this. You have the lip liners and then the lipsticks. So this is the Kind Words collection. And first you have the Kind Words matte lip liner. These will retail for 15 US dollars and it comes in 10 shades. And then we have the Kind Words matte lipstick, which will retail for $20. And these also come in 10 shades and they actually match each other, which you'll see in a minute. So I've been playing around with these a little bit. Like I wore one of them to the event and really loved the formula based off my first impressions, but I haven't yet tried all the colors on my lips and you guys know how much I love to do lip swatches. So I hope that you all find this helpful. Sometimes for me, when there's a whole lip collection, it's hard for me to know which ones will be my favorite or which ones I'm thinking about buying if I don't see them being tried on a person's lips or being swatched. So that's what I'm doing for you guys today and I hope it's helpful to you. Before I swatch them on the lips, I'm gonna show you the arm swatches so you can get a feel for the entire collection. Okay, so here are all the lip liners and lipsticks swatched on my arm. So from left to right, we have talented, creative, lively, worthy, humble, fun, wise, bold, gifted, and strong. And you can see the lip liners match perfectly with the lipsticks, which are really nice. And that's why they're all named the same thing. So both the lip liners and the lipsticks will be launching on July 7th. So let's talk packaging. First for the lip liner, it's so pretty. It's a really nice, heavy duty feeling packaging. And I love that there's a color strip that's pretty large on the side. So you can really tell what color you're getting. It's described to have a smooth glide, ultra creamy matte color. It's waterproof, so it won't smudge, feather or fade. And it's completed with a built-in sharpener. So let me see. Aha, uh -huh, yes. So right here, just below the color swatch is the sharpener, which is so great because it's a twist up kind of pencil. It's not a wood pencil. So that's always convenient to have with these types of packaging so that you can make sure you have a nice precise edge with every color. I thought that the matte lipstick packaging was really cool. So it has this cream colored cap and then like a champagne gold base. And what I like about it is it has a flat edge. So it's not gonna roll off of your counter, but it's so fun to open. So you actually just press the bottom like that and it will kind of pop out of the base and then you just pull it and then there you have it. So it's like a regular bullet lipstick on the inside. I really like the angle of this as well. Sorry, this looks kind of messy. I've swatched these a couple times on my arms. So they used to look a little prettier than this, but you get the idea. And then same thing when you put the cap back on, it just kind of clicks back into place to where it originally was, which I think is really cool. So innovative packaging. I like that the range has a bunch of really wearable colors. There's nothing too bright. There's nothing too bold. I feel like the intention behind this collection was to be something that you would wanna reach for on a daily basis, you know, just like your go-to staple lipsticks. So let's go ahead and try them on. I'm gonna start off with the shade Talented. The lip liners do glide on very easily and I did find it to be extremely long wearing. And the lipstick formula is a really comfortable matte. It's not like a drying formula. It almost feels like you forget like you're wearing lipstick because the texture is so comfortable. And as always, I'm gonna do my best with like my swatches with my lip lines, but you know, they're not always perfect, but hopefully you get the idea. So here is Talented. This is a really nice kind of beigey nude. This one has a little bit more of a yellow undertone than some of the other ones that have a little bit more of a pink undertone, but it's a very flattering shade, um, something that you could wear on its own or something that I feel like would be paired really well with a smoky eye on myself. 
which that's something else to keep in mind. Lipsticks will always swatch differently depending on your skin tone and undertones. So I'm personally fair to light with a neutral undertone when it comes to foundation. So keep that in mind. But I do think this is a really flattering color on me and I would pair it with something really intense on the eyes since it kind of gives more of a muted feel. So that's the first shade, Talented. Next is Creative. So this one is more of a peachy shade. It's so pretty and so flattering. So here's that on the lips. This one has a little bit more of a peachy pink feel versus Talented, but still very much on the light end of the spectrum as far as like depth goes, but I think it's so pretty, something that would be really easy to wear every day. I feel like 10 shades is enough to wear. It's not too overwhelming. And I think they did a really good job at curating which 10 shades. This one is really beautiful. Next, we're gonna try the shade Lively. I haven't tried this one on yet, so I'm really excited. This is a little more of a pink shade. Ooh, this one's pretty. This is one that I would feel comfortable wearing with a makeup look like this and kind of having this more as a focal point, even though it's a very wearable color. I like that it's a little bit different, so it still makes a statement in a very approachable way. This one is really pretty. It's a very fresh, summery kind of a color. Okay, this next color I did try on while I was in LA and I love this one. I almost wore this to the event, but the other color that I went with, which I will swatch next, actually matched my outfit a little better. Otherwise, I would have worn this. So yeah, this one is worthy and it is the most beautiful kind of mauve pink, you'll see. This is my kind of everyday color. I love this one. This is a little bit more on the cool toned side of things, but it's not too cool toned. It just has that little bit of a mauve and a little brown in it too. I think it's so flattering. This is again, something that I would wear on like a daily basis. These are the kind of colors that I feel the most beautiful in. So when I first opened up the PR box, this was the first color that I reached for and tried on. And I still think it's gonna be like my favorite out of all of them. We have to try the rest of course, but I love this one a lot. Okay, next up is the color that I ended up wearing to the event and this is called Humble. This one is so beautiful as well, but it's a little bit more pink um, compared to Worthy, which is that mauve one we just tried. Now the lip liners glide on so smoothly. And I actually carried this in my purse to touch up because I was kind of like eating and I checked my lipstick halfway through the event and didn't need to touch it up because it was so long wearing. But this is so beautiful as well. I think this is my other favorite that I've tried so far. I'll definitely let you know if any of the next shades, you know, are something that I fall in love with, but Worthy and Humble were immediately favorites for me as far as colors go. So that's that one. Ah, oh, I love this one. It's so pretty. The next shade we're gonna be trying is called Fun. This one is also peachy, but it's a little deeper than the previous peach shade that I tried. Ooh, I haven't tried this one on yet. These are all such flattering colors. I really like this one as well. So again, this one is called Fun. The next color is called Wise. This is pretty. This is like a deeper brown rose. There's a little bit of a rosy color to this. It's very 90s feeling in my opinion. So flattering. This is definitely a shade that I would wear all the time in fall. These are the kinds of colors that I love to wear with a makeup look like this. That's really pretty as well. Goodness, all of these colors are so beautiful. I can't wait to wear this one in fall specifically. Yeah, if you're into like the 90s lipstick colors, Wise would be a wise choice. <laughs> it's really fun. I like this one a lot actually. Okay, we're down to the last three. So we're gonna swatch the next color, which is called Bold. Well, this is so pretty. This is like a true rose color. It's not quite a red, although it pulls like pretty red on me, but it's just not quite bold enough or bright enough to be a red, which is why I feel like it's more of a rose color but so stunning, oh my goodness. I was not expecting to love this one as much as I am. It's a very approachable, bold color on me anyway. Ah, I would feel very comfortable going out in public with a color like this, even on like an everyday basis. It wouldn't even have to be a special occasion for me to wear this color, but it would make me feel a little more dressed up and a little more special without it being like a super bold lip color. Wow, I really like that one. All right, the next one is called Gifted. Okay, well, how pretty is this? Again, this is more of a bold color on myself, but so pretty, like another fall color for myself personally. I love how it has more of like an antique kind of a undertone to it. This has almost like a purple undertone, no? It's like a rosy brown, but a deeper rosy brown. It's giving me 90s as well. So flattering though, all of these tones and undertones are so beautiful. I literally would wear every single one that I've tried so far. So that is Gifted. Wow, that one's surprising. I like this one more than I thought I would. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to like choose my favorites. Wow, I like that one a lot. 
And actually, I just remembered that Selena was wearing the shade Gifted, which is the one that I just had on. And she said it's her favorite from the line, which I can tell why. It's such a special color that I feel like would really flatter everybody. So we have one more to try on, and this is called Strong. It's the deepest shade in the collection. Yeah, these lip liners are so easy to apply, which is essential, especially for these darker colors that need a little more precision. Okay, here we go. So here's the last color. Again, this is strong. This is more of just like a chocolate brown shade, which is so pretty. This is again, one that I personally would wear more in like the fall months, but if you have more of a medium to deep skin tone, I feel like, especially for deep skin tones, this could be an everyday color. So it just depends on your tone, your undertone and your personal preferences when it comes to your go-to lipstick shades. But this is definitely a statement for me. I think it's so pretty though. And I would definitely wear it in the fall when I like to wear more bold lip colors on like a daily basis. So there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the shade Bold. I just really liked the undertone of this. Okay, so overall, you guys, this collection is so beautiful. And as you saw, there's so many incredible shades with different tones and undertones, yet somehow they're all very wearable. Again, I think they did a really good job with the shade selection. I personally really do feel like the combo of the lip liner and the lipstick is really helpful just to get those more precise edges. I'm a firm believer in lip liner. I really think it makes a difference. So they made it really easy to be able to pair your lip liner with your lipstick. However, it's not necessarily a need if you don't like lip liners. I love them because I feel like not only do they help you with the edges of your lips, but it also kind of helps with the longevity and just keeping it from bleeding. And of course, like you could also mix and match. You wouldn't have to do them exactly with each other, but it takes the guesswork out of it. If you're not quite sure how to match a lip liner with a lipstick, you don't have to worry about this with the collection. Again, the formula is matte, but it's a comfortable matte. I feel like it's a really lightweight formula that's extremely pigmented and it wears really well throughout the night. I wore it for a few hours. And like I said, I was eating and drinking and talking all night. And then I went back to my hotel room and it still looked really nice. So I'm so excited about this collection, you guys. I think you will all love it as well. And I hope seeing the swatches on me kind of helped you if you were interested in this collection and kind of figure out what shades interest you most. So for me personally, my number one shades are Worthy. I just, I can't not like love this one. I think it's gonna live in my purse. And then a second favorite is Humble, which is the one that I wore to the event. I love this one as well. So those are definitely my top two immediately, but I did have some new favorites that I tried on today. And those are Wise, which again, is a very 90s vibe. I think I would love this in the fall. I'm a huge fan of Bold, which is the one that I have right here. It's such a wearable, bold color. <laughs> it's really not anything too intimidating. It's not quite a red, it's not quite a pink. It's something that I feel like is really unique. So I love that. And then I also really was surprised by and really enjoyed the shade Gifted, which is that more deep rosy brown. So those are my new faves. But honestly, if I had to recommend two, especially if you're similar in tone and undertone and in taste with lipsticks, like if my recommendations usually work for you, I think you should definitely check out Worthy and Humble. Those two, I think those are gonna be staples for me. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, these will be available on the 7th of July at Sephora, Space NK, and rarebeauty.com. I'm gonna wear this all day again today, so I'll leave a little note to let you know how this more bold color wore throughout the night. So be sure to check the description box for that. Also, I would love to hear what shades you guys are the most excited about. Are you gonna try out this collection? Are you gonna pass? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.